I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. That, I have no idea. Oh, look at this. This, I have no idea what it is. Well, good morning, guys. I am in Tel Aviv, Israel. Actually, I'm in Tel Aviv, Jaffa. So Jaffa is the oldest port city in Israel. Parts of it are 2,000 years old. Other parts of it are 3,000 years old. But today, it's just a city that's alive with clubs and restaurants and tourists and fishermen and... So that's the skyline of Tel Aviv, and here's the old city of Jaffa here. Where I am right now is a marketplace. It's a total flea market part of Jaffa and it is just one of the coolest places I've ever been. love flea markets like this in the world. There's just so much to look at and so much to see and then everybody wants you to buy from them. I love flea markets like this in the world. Shalom. Used shoes? I wonder if a pirated copy of my movie is in here. Cool tattoo shop. Look at these tables. Wow, those are just cool. I don't think this would fit on the plane though. <laughs> Very cool. This town is so cool because down one street you'll have all these really cool shops. Down another street you'll have all these really cool bars. Down another street all these really cool restaurants. There's so much to see here. This is why I love places like this in the world. So we're leaving the market right now and every time I come to this city we've got to come to a place called Abu Lafia. It's like a 60 year old bakery and they make all of their breads exactly how they used to do in ancient times with a stone brick oven. It is the best bread ever. These are awesome. These have little sesame seeds on them. Here's pita pizzas. 
croissants with almonds, something stuffed with something. This is pita with olive oil and spices on it. This stuff is really good. Look at this. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. That, I have no idea. Oh, look at this. This, I have no idea what it is. This is a big plate of Turkish delight. So if you ever saw the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, this is Turkish delight. Oh, wow. What do we have there? Lemonim. Lemonim. Lemonim, yeah. Oh, pomegranate. Yeah. Wow, that looks really good. Fresh in here. All right, so this is like pomegranate with some seeds and looks like pistachios. Oh, that is really good. So the pomegranate is like jellied. And then you've got pistachios and other nuts. This is good stuff. So this is what I'm getting. They're basically these bread twists with roasted sesame. Those look amazing. All right, so I got the bread twist with the roasted sesame seeds. This is literally the best bread anywhere in the world. If you guys know of a better place in the world to get better bread, comment below, because I want to know about it. This is just absolutely amazing. And this is why every time I'm in Israel, I come to Abu Lafia. It's just amazing bread. Wow, look at this mosque. That is a really beautiful mosque. Wow, look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. This is the entrance to the mosque. Wow. You know, the media will have you believe that this is a war zone, that the three major religions, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, are constantly fighting, constantly having wars over here, and it's just total bullshit. It is absolutely the furthest thing from the truth. What you see on the news is Hamas's aggression and the Israeli army's response to it. But Palestinians, Arabs, Jews, Christians, they all live together in the same neighborhoods, they go to the same supermarkets, they, kids go to the same school, they live in pretty much perfect harmony here, and everybody is free to worship the way that they want to worship here, whether it be Muslims or Jews or Christians. Israel is really a place for everybody, and it is one of the most peaceful countries I've ever been to. And it's frustrating. It's frustrating to be here and see Jews and Muslims and Christians all living together, and then to go home and see on the media that there's a whole war over here. It's just not true. It's simply not true. Well guys, I'll tell you what, I just absolutely love exploring historic places like this. I love going to markets like this, and I really love it here in Israel. Again, it's nothing like you see on the evening news. It's, God, it frustrates the hell out of me to watch the evening news and see them paint a just an awful caricature of what life is actually like here. Anyway, this is the end of my adventures here in Israel. I didn't vlog a lot here because I was filming for the Reptile Adventure channel. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description below. But every time I come to Israel, I absolutely love it. And every time I leave, I look forward to the time that I'm going to be back here. So, and I will be back here and I will try to vlog much more than I did on this trip. But anyway, until the next adventure, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on.